welcome back to another episode of Nick's Quick Bits, uh, an episode where I, Nick, give you a couple of tidbits of information. Today we're going down the rabbit hole of finger picking. Uh, no plectrums required. Uh, now, if you haven't read the title properly, this isn't another video where I tell you how hard John Mayer's Neon is. This is for beginners. Carry on moving. So, a couple of things to understand first, and that is how we annotate our right hand or our picking hand. And we see a lot of the times that the letters P, I, M, and A used. And that's uh, polga for thumb, Latin, I think, indio, index, medio, mid, mid, middle finger, annular, ring finger, P, I, M, A. Our thumb is gonna be using the E, the A, and the D string. So those low three strings throughout these exercises and our IMA, index middle and ring finger, is gonna be glued to the G, B and the high E string as we go through all of these exercises. So try to keep that in mind as we move on to our first exercise. Exercise one, I'll chuck the tab up here somewhere and as you can see, we're using our thumb index and we're just repeating that and changing the low note every time. Uh, it then progresses, so we kind of do that backwards, starting on the low E string, but doing A, M, I, or the high E string, B string, and the G string. And then finally, we mix it up one more time uh, and do the index, the A, the annular, uh, so we're doing the G, high E, and the B string. Uh, so give this a go. 80 BPM, I think. Here it is. Exercise number two. Uh, so, not very musical, that first exercise, and I get it. Let's do something a bit more musical. So, we're gonna be using some chords. Uh, we're gonna be using the same principle. We're gonna be using the first third of that exercise where we're doing the thumb, and then I, M, A, or the G, B, and E string. Uh, except this time, we're gonna be using some chords. We've got C major. F major seven, so that's three, two, one, zero on the D, G, B, and the high E string. Uh, we've got an A minor and a G. Now the things that you do need to watch out for here is the root notes where the thumb is moving. So C, your thumb is gonna be the A string. For the F major seven, we're gonna be D string. The A minor is gonna be the A string. And for the G, we're gonna be on the low E string. And I might chuck in uh, maybe an E minor seven slash B at the end, really nice chord, uh, just to finish things off, which will be on the A string. But uh, you'll follow the tab and uh, have a look at it. Uh, see how you get on. Okay, exercise three. This time we're gonna try combining our P, our polga, our thumb, and our A, our ring finger. And uh, we're gonna keep the same kind of chords, but our pattern this time is gonna be. So really similar with what we're doing with our, our top three strings, but on the one and two and three and four, we're gonna catch that root note again. So we're slowly kind of making our coordination a little bit harder, what needs to go on with that right hand. Uh, change chords again, see what happens, follow the tab, and uh, yeah, let me know how you get on.
Exercise number four, rolling our fingers. Everyone tries to do this really, really quickly, but I'd really encourage you just to start slowly. This exercise goes through our chords as normal, C, F major seven, A minor and G, and we're rolling our fingers, uh, thumb on the root note, and we're using semiquavers. So the very first one E and a uh of the bar is used for the rolling. So we're playing on one E and a two, three E and a four. And uh, that's gonna take a while to kind of get that roll of your fingers. Practice it slowly. We do it at three speeds, 80, 100, and 120. Uh, if you can't do 100, then go back, do 80, Use a metronome yourself, do 90, uh, and then slowly work your way up. Kind of, This should span over a couple of weeks of practice, all these exercises, to kind of get your fingers, get your independence of your fingers kind of really working. And uh, then we can move on to the next exercise. But uh, here it is. <laughs> Our final exercise kind of puts everything together. We've got a roll in on the first beat, kind of one iana, and uh, then we're doing a little bit of a combination with the root note and the high E string, and we're mixing up our G, B, and high E string. Sounds something like this. Yeah, I think it's about there. Um, watch the tab, figure it out, and uh, let me know how you get on with all of these exercises. Like I said previously, span them over a couple of weeks, go slowly, slow the BPMs down yourself if you need to, and uh, yeah, we'll see you at the outro. All right, guys, that's it from me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this quick introduction to finger picking. Uh, if you want to learn more, please head over to vivaguitar.com where we have a whole host of exercises, songs, uh, everything that you could want to take finger picking right the way through from a beginner to a semi-professional. Um, if that is something that you've got in mind, then head over there and consider subscribing. Um, if you've liked the video, please smash the like button, subscribe as always, and I'll see you in the next one.